Welcome to this video where we'll showcase the latest and greatest in animation mods for Skyrim. If you're looking to revolutionize your gameplay experience, then you're in the right place. We've curated a collection of magical and MCO ADXP movesets that will take your game to the next level. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of dynamic animations for Skyrim. At first, I'm excited to introduce you to Dynamic Female Ledge Sitting, a mod that brings more life and realism to the female NPCs in Skyrim. This mod includes three new Dynamic Ledge Sitting idols, which add variety to the way female NPCs interact with their environment. These idols will play on female NPCs depending on the outfits they are wearing, when idling at NPC idol markers. You'll notice that these idol markers are normally only accessible to NPCs in vanilla Skyrim, However, with the Dovahkiin Can Lean mod, players can also access these markers and enjoy the new animations in the game. Dynamic Female Ledge Sitting is a mod that adds more immersion and realism to the game, especially for players who love to observe the daily routines of NPCs. Give it a try and see how it enhances your gameplay experience. Secondly, on behalf of Tech, I will introduce you to For Honor and Skyrim Pirate Sword with Pistol MCO Animation mod. This mod adds a new pirate-themed animation to the game, featuring a one-handed sword and pistol. The pistol used in this mod is from the Flintlock Pistols for Adventurers mod, but it has been modified to be worn as an armor item instead of being a staff property. The crafting conditions are the same as the original mod, so it should be easy to get started with this new animation. A normal attack starts with a sword attack. Four combos are output in the form of a loop, However, you can use the pistol attack animation by pressing the forward movement key and the power attack key together. What sets this pistol attack animation apart from the other animations is that it leads to multiple combos. Existing pistol attack movesets consist of one combo, but this moveset naturally outputs approximately four to five combos. That's not all. This moveset can use a combination of sword and pistol attacks together. These attacks flow naturally and aren't awkward at all, Occasionally take down enemies with stabbing attacks and you can use them strategically. Currently this moveset is in early access. However, if you participate as a tester through Patreon, you can use early stage movesets through Discord. Therefore, it is a good way to participate in development together with the creator. Next up, I would like to introduce a simple TK Dodge Sidestep mod, where we showcase a new way to dodge enemy attacks in Skyrim. This mod is designed to work well with the MCO Scar enemy combo attacks, and features quick and smooth sidestep animations. With the simple TK Dodge Sidestep mod, you can quickly dodge incoming enemy attacks without being pushed a mile away. The animations are short and simple, allowing you to continue your own attacks or counterattacks. The sidestep animations are also designed with MCO Scar enemy combo attacks in mind, so you can dodge the incoming attacks and keep up with the enemy's movements. The best part about this mod is how smooth and seamless the animations look. It's a great addition for players who want to add some extra movement and fluidity to their combat style. In this time, I'm going to talk about the Wing Chun mod, a mod that brings the ancient Chinese Kung Fu school to Skyrim. This mod is designed for unarmed combat and includes some of the most famous moves of Wing Chun, such as the One Inch Punch and the Fuk Sao and Palm Strike. With this mod, you can perform Wing Chun techniques on your enemies in Skyrim. There are various actions, including the Leoi Hap Toi, which is a quick chain punch, and the Yat Ji Quen to one inch punch, which is a combination of moves that ends with a powerful punch. If you also have Real Leviathan's Axe Combat action set installed, you can use your enemy's knockback motion to your advantage. The Wing Chun mod is a great addition for anyone who wants to experience a new way of unarmed combat in Skyrim. With its smooth animations and various techniques, you'll feel like a true master of Chinese Kung Fu. Next up, we're excited to showcase a new mod that will take your jumping skills to the next level. Introducing Magical Jumping mod that adds dynamic animations, effects, and sounds to your jumps using the power of Better Jumping, Dynamic Animation Replacer, and Payload Interpreter. With Magical Jumping, you can now study alteration and harness that knowledge to create spells and artifacts of amazing power. By smithing a magic jump ring or casting powerful jumping spells, you can defy physics and leap with unparalleled ability. Whether you're a mage or a warrior, this mod has something for everyone. 
You can execute up to three sets of jumps, either from a standing position or while running, and with two rings that can be created at any forge, each requiring a different minimum alteration skill of adept or higher, you'll have plenty of options to customize your jumping experience. This mod also features a smooth random jump add-in, so get ready to soar through the skies like never before with magical jumping. And don't forget to grab those spellbooks from Tolfdir to take your jumping skills to even greater heights. If you're a fan of the Witcher series, you know how important the Witcher Signs mod is in combat. And now, with this mod, you can enhance your gameplay experience with unique casting animations for each sign. What's great about this mod is that each spell has its own unique casting animation with gesture movements that match the original game. It adds an immersive touch to your gameplay, making you feel like a true Witcher. What's more, the replacement animation will only appear when your left hand is equipped with signs. So you can still hold a sword in one hand and a sign in the other, just like Geralt. And to top it all off, the fingers are animated as well, giving it a realistic touch. If you want to take your Witcher gameplay to the next level, be sure to try out this mod. This mod only adds animations to the Witcher Signs mod. If you have any more questions about the Witcher Signs mod, check out this video. In vanilla Skyrim, many female NPCs use male animations, which were designed for the male body proportions. As a result, the arms of these female characters can look too widespread when using these animations. The Better Tomboys Dar Animations mod is a Skyrim mod that aims to improve the animations of female NPCs that use male animations. This includes characters such as Lydia, Mjol, Irilith, Rika, Delphine, female orcs, and some female soldiers and guards. The mod aims to fix this issue by adjusting the posture of these female characters to fit better with their body proportions, while still keeping the same male animation style. This means that these female NPCs will still have a manly appearance, but their arms won't be too spread out. The mod is a great way to improve the visual experience of playing Skyrim and make the female characters look more realistic and fitting with their body proportions. Next up, I'm going to show you a mod that adds a new weapon art to the Skyrim. This mod is called Dimension Flicker ADXP MCO Weapon Art by iDestroyer, and it's a cool and flashy addition to the game. As you can see, this mod adds a new weapon art called Dimension Flicker, which allows you to collect slashes in another dimension and then unleash them on your enemy. The weapon art can be activated by holding A and D keys and then pressing LMB and RMB. The weapon art has a 10 minutes cooldown per use. It's great mod because it adds a lot of fun and style to the combat system of Skyrim. It makes me feel like a badass warrior who can use both swords and magic in combat. The weapon art is very powerful and satisfying to use, and it looks amazing. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a new and exciting way to play as a sword user or a hybrid character in Skyrim. And there you have it, folks. We hope you enjoyed this showcase of the best new animations and movesets for Skyrim. With these mods, your game will feel like a completely new experience. If you want to try them out for yourself, be sure to check out the links in the description below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.